Yo, 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 yo! What's good, cyberpunks and retro nerds? You got the hammerhead shark coming at you on a motherfucking Monday. And today I thought we would review a movie that I've never watched. It's called Father's Day. And this is one of those trauma released films. Lloyd Kaufman didn't direct it, but it's one of those movies that they released uh, within their company. And uh, I'm familiar with the movie Father's Day. From what I gather, this is a uh, homage or a throwback to the Grindhouse era uh, cinematography. And, uh, you know, I, I get the feeling this is going to be like a mix between like Death Wish or I Spit on Your Grave, you know, shit like that. So this is going to be a treat. It's going to be the perfect way for me to just chill out after a ball buster of a Monday. And, uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and peep the movie. While I do that, you guys are going to check out the trailer for educational and historical purposes. Is someone there? John? You. After all these years, you've come for me. There's a boy. Many years ago, he tried to kill the Falkman. He left us a long time ago. You know any dads go missing around here, motherfucker? But this time, it's your old man. You seen your dad burn death in front of you? What is the fuck, man? Father's Day killer, cannibal man killer. None of those damn reporters can give it any name they want. But I got my eye on you and that degenerate sister of yours, Chelsea. So you tell her I said hi. <laughs> you must find this man, Ahab. Not again! You must find him. Father of Flint sent me and I've traveled across the world to speak to you. I hurt a lot of people in my life, Father. And I don't want to hurt anymore. I prayed every night that you would come and find me, but you never did. I don't want you putting your life on the line over some stupid vendetta for Father's Day killer. Why not? You did. And I'm gonna finish what you couldn't. Says that he that sees but one path shall stand in the way of the fuck manicus. Why? There's no time to explain. Oh, glory to the fuck man. Happy Father's Day. In the way of it from being a true classic. 
honestly speaking, I feel like Hobo with a Shotgun accomplishes, uh, uh, you know, what this movie was going for a lot better. So, um, you know, I would suggest watching that movie first and then moving on to Father's Day if you want a little bit more of that, uh, you know, late 80s, up all night, you know, midnight movie marathon feel. Um, but out of 10 stars, I gotta, you know, I gotta say I'm gonna give Father's Day a seven and a half. It's like I said, it's not the best grindhouse homage that I've ever seen, but it sure is fun. And I guarantee if you pop this son of a bitch on at a party where the drinks are flowing like water and your friends are all just sitting around the TV, you're bound to get some laughs and uh, definitely see some uh, shocking things.